Hi guys, Dr. Berg here. I want to talk about vitamin B5, panathenic acid. Okay, um, This is a real interesting vitamin in that um, a lot of people are deficient despite it being in a lot of your foods. So I'm going to talk about that. But first let's talk about what it does in the body. It allows carbohydrates, proteins, and fats to be converted to energy. And that's why one of the top symptoms of the deficiency would be fatigue or adrenal fatigue. Okay, you get tired. So um, vitamin B5 is the precursor to stress hormones, primarily cortisol and adrenaline. And so you need B5 for your adrenals. And that's why one of the things that I have done is I put several versions of vitamin B5 in a lot of my adrenal formulas because it's good for recovery, it's good for adrenal strength, it's good for energy, and it's kind of like a, um, a coenzyme to ha help you build more of those hormones. And without it, you just can't build those hormones. So it's involved in metabolism. It also gets rid of lactic acid accumulation after a workout. You ever get real sore and it takes a long time? So B5 will help you recover from a workout. It also increases oxygen utilization. So if you're working out and you're running out of gas faster and you took some B5, you probably would be able to go longer because it increases oxygen in the body. Um, but here's the main point. Your intestines must convert uh, inactive B5 to active vitamin B5. So if you have uh, destruction, uh, celiac, or any type of leaky uh, gut, or any type of damage in your gut, and you have digestive problems, that could be the reason why you can't absorb B5. And so that means you have to take a lot more to create the effects that you want. And one of the big effects is getting rid of acne. A lot of people have to take mega dosage dosages of vitamin B5 to get rid of their acne. And that's why, because the colon is not absorbing it. But the symptoms would be irritability, fatigue. These are all adrenal symptoms too, by the way. Depression, insomnia, acne, they're all adrenal symptoms. So that's interesting. The foods that are high in B5, it's in almost every food, but it's high in mushrooms, shiitake mushrooms, uh, actual liver, grass-fed liver, avocado, cauliflower, eggs, and a lot of other foods. But these are the top ones. So. Um, if you have issues with this, you know, you might want to look at improving your intestinal tract. Uh, and I like to add uh, fermented foods over a period of time and lactic acid from kombucha tea to improve the absorption. And then you'll start to recover from this uh, deficiency. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Please click the subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.